Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm doing an updated wash and go tutorial. I know I've done so many of these, but let's just go ahead and get started. Um, this is new because my hair is a lot longer than it has been before. So we're going to start off with freshly washed damp hair. It doesn't necessarily have to be freshly washed. Um, it's better if it's like that, but then we're going to take our cream of nature argan oil strength and shine leave-in conditioner and I'm just going to spray this throughout my hair. I do this for moisture. Moisture, moisture, moisture is important. Next, I'm going to take some organic coconut oil and um, distribute that throughout my hair. Massage it in real good. Um, this will help with um, at the end, well towards the end when I put a little gel in my hair so it doesn't really dry out my hair and my hair isn't um, very crunchy. Next, I'm taking Cantu's Curling Cream. I love this stuff. I love the way it smells. And we're going to distribute that throughout your hair as well. And now I'm taking the Eco Styling Gel. Um, whatever gel that you use to curl, this is just one of the methods that I use. I got this method from my daughter. She uses this for her wash and goes. Um, I've used this before and my wash and goes have lasted a week. Um, sometimes I wrap my hair, sometimes I don't. When I'm wrapping it, I do use the pineapple method. So um, that does help as far as like keeping the curls. But um, I love this as far as um, holding it. My hair doesn't get crunchy because I use the curling cream and the coconut oil in my hair. Now I'm just going to spray a little bit more of that leave-in conditioner in my hair because my hair did get a little bit dry, but I wanted it you know, to scrunch and spray, scrunch and spray. That's the key, scrunching your hair to help those curls form. Now here you can either let your hair air dry or you can blow dry your hair on low um, to, for your hair to fully dry. Now I'm going to show you how I do my little braided thingy in the back. I'm picking all of my hair and I'm dividing it in half all the way up, I'd probably say three quarters of the way. And then I'm going to take a little section from one side, smooth it out, and take it over to the other side and kind of like hold it there. Take a little bit of hair from the other side, smooth it out, and move it over to the other section so they're crossing each other. And I'm going to keep repeating the same process until I get to um, whatever stopping point I want. So I'm going to take a little bit more hair, pull it out, straighten it out, crisscross it over the last piece I put down. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Take a little bit of hair, smooth it out, crisscross it, take some more hair, pull it out. Smooth it and crisscross it. And I believe this is going to be the last piece. And I'm going to take a bobby pin, that's the closed pin, and pin that last piece down. You can use more pins if you want, but um, I felt like this was a secure enough just to use one pin. And then you can take front and style it however you want. This is the part where um, I'll just go ahead and brush my sides down and either I'll let the front air dry and scrunch it every now and then to help the, to curl it or I'll blow dry it and scrunch it at the same time to help the curls form. And this is the finished, finished product with of course makeup. No, I did not do my eyebrows. They're not done. I just brushed them up and slicked them to the side. But this is the finished product. Um, let me know how you like it. I do have another video. I just haven't edited it. But I just don't want to oversaturate you all with wash and go. So 
I want to thank everyone for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on IG, um, Bella Faces by Nisi. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.